with one of the first businesses to sign on to the program. Bill? Hey there, guys. I'm at the Iron Horse Hotel, and there's a sticker on the door, and these stickers mean a safe place to anyone who goes in through these doors, especially for those that are part of the LGBTQ plus community or human trafficking victims, that this is a safe place, that they can get help here, and whether that's with Milwaukee Police or other resources in the city. And the goal is to grow the program throughout the city that has already seen two black trans women killed this year. It may be a little sticker. This is an important step that Milwaukee needs and has needed for a long time. But LGBTQ plus advocates say it'll help the community and human trafficking victims. Brad Schleikowski is with Courage MKE, which helps homeless and displaced LGBTQ plus youth. Schleikowski says the Safe Place program will go a long way to show that there are places people can get help if they're in trouble. Too long we see folks from our community, especially black trans women, being hurt, harmed, and more sadly murdered throughout our country. Two black trans women were killed in Milwaukee this year. 28-year-old Brazil Johnson was shot and killed near Teutonia in North back in June. Regina Maya Allen was killed after being shot near 26th and Wells in late August. Police are still looking for Johnson's killer. The man charged with killing Allen was arrested at a Southside home last week. There is video, there is eyewitness testimony. Um, there is a possibility that this was a hate crime. Prosecutors haven't said why, but that 31-year-old Clayton Hubbard argued with Allen before she was shot. So far in 2022, the human rights campaign says 31 transgender people were fatally shot or killed. The Safe Place program is in partnership with the Milwaukee Police Department. Being able to be a beacon to those who are being harmed or who are, are suffering is the first place to start. To help them find the help they need. If I'm walking past a building and there's this sticker in the window that's blatantly saying, come in here, we will protect you, um, it's a no-brainer and it's a win for the city. Now, the Iron Horse Hotel is the first business to sign up for the Safe Place program. Businesses must sign up and have their application approved. We have information on how to go about that in this story on our website at fox6now.com. Reporting live in Walker's Point, Bill Miston, Fox 6 News. All right, Bill, thank you.